All of us boys have all been in trouble with the law. Morning smoke. That's my breakfast smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's to give me oh. all my energy back. I wish it was a oh. breakfast game instead. Oh, I spat on a girl and I pissed on the courtyard. Oh, Russell. The first night I met him, I was like, oh my god, like this kid's gonna end up getting bashed this week. Who the fuck did them cunts get here? If I um, muck up again bad, I get caught, bail, and then parole, and if I break parole, I go to jail. Yeah, I've been like in the cells of like just in the fish tank a fair few times and growing up, you know, like I'd always been outburst sort of kid, you know, the little thing would just set me off and then like I, after a while I just started bottling everything up and keeping everything inside of me. They'd been pushed to the side by society. Uh, they had a tattoo on the forehead that said, no fucking good. And we scrubbed that tattoo off. I really start looking after yourself, finding out who you are when you're too busy finding out where you're going to sleep that night and if you're going to eat that day and stuff like that, you know. And it'd be good to have a place to go back to and just say, this is mine. That they're pushed into the ground, some of these kids. Yet here's this thing that keeps popping up, going, making everybody pay attention, going, boy, who is this kid? I, passed, I did punch a few holes in a wall. I reckon a better way to have handled that was probably just when you did go for your walk or something, you know, just, just do what burn like gets us to do with the calm your mind. Yeah, and, talk to the dog, take the dog for a walk. Yeah. When I see little Russell, I see a lot of myself in him just because of the way he carries on and acts, you know, like. A lot of the boys just see him as being cheeky and that, but I can see he's putting up a guard, he's putting up a shield because he doesn't want to let anyone in sort of thing. You're going to look weird with a shave. I've shaved since you've been here, bro. Uh, Rusty, he just follows Zach around. Uh, he's with him 24-7. He goes to him if there's an issue with the other boys. Zach's teaching him the same way we taught Zach. Just the fact that he's a little dickhead, not knowing where to go at the moment, like a lost pup and that. And that's where I was once upon a time. We tried everything to get a handle on these kids. I had a mob of feral pups at home. I'm going to just tip these out on the lawn and see what happens. For the first time, I saw these tough, hard kids with a little pup on their laps, uh, and they were sitting quite low. And when it relaxes, we take the pressure off. On, off. We call this dog valium. If you don't chill yourself out, you'll never chill the dog out, yeah? Dogs have this way of, uh, they, can, they can take bad energy out of you. Uh, they don't judge you. Um, they just take you in the absolute moment, in the now. People always notice the shit first, the bad stuff about people. But when you give them the opportunity um, to see something that isn't bad, they're gobsmacked. Yeah. And they just get that from you guys just being brave for one little moment and showing them, you know, that there's a good side to everybody. sport that I'd never seen before, working dog high jump events, so it cracks. So from that day on, we started chasing around these shows. They, um, they give their 100%, which is why we're the Australian champions and we're almost unbeatable in dog jumping. We've got three jobs. One is to keep the kid alive. The next is to keep him out of jail. The third thing is to chase their hopes and dreams. Are we always successful? No. Mm. I've been to too many... <clears throat> I've been to too many funerals of kids. Um, I've had to visit too many kids in jail. I hate those calls, <clears throat> and I can hear it in that kid, and I go, you know what, we have to just, <clears throat> sorry, we have to work harder, uh, it's not good enough.
Um, once that kid's dead, there's nothing more you can do about it. Um, um, makes me work harder. I'd probably be like the other young people and be on the heavy drugs by now. Um, I'd be homeless, I'd be in and out of jail. So, Backtrack's changed me a lot. They really took much notice of me mother. It's been a harder journey for her seeing me do what I'm doing. I'm all fucked up. But that's it, you know, like, any time you want, you know, we're here for you, bro. Settle in any time you want. You always got a place in our heart. These boys have, have suffered some huge emotional turmoil in their life. If they can release and heal in that process, the world's their oyster. All of us boys are looking for a second chance. I've got more in me than I knew that I've got in me. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty hard, you know, like, just knowing that my family's proud of me and, yeah. And is your mum proud of you? Mm. Mm, that's one of the things that hits me the hardest is I was that close to going down the road where she could have, you know, just not seen me here.